Hello and welcome to in this lesson and my name is Deepak Bari I will be your instructor in this video and we will configure how to configure EIGR field so take two routers in the series 2811 like this and take two switches 2950T and couples of end devices now select the WIC 1T interface and turn on this router switch same process here drag and drop just leave it and process now it's time to cabling now we already know that router to router connected with serial cable so we will connect with this serial cable select the serial cable and click uh, on the router icon and you can see that serial 0 by 0 by 0 and click on this link and same here and now router to switch this will connect to straight through cable now hold on the control key and click here for multiple selection select fast ethernet 0 by 0 and here 0 by 1 select this respectively and same here then after the completion of cabling now we are labeling the, our network and for our advantages and to understand how the network will work and what IP address will work here so we will assign here IP addresses like this for our advantages purposes only and this is network 10 and slash 24 means is a CIDR value this means which will describe uh, how many subnets I will use in my class ten dot two foreign devices and this device will get ten dot three IP address and this network will thirty dot zero so the default gateway routing default get IP address will be 30.1 and the network will default 24 and give the IP address here 30.2 for in devices and 30.3 for another now the next step is assigning the IP address in all interfaces and devices so we will start with here and click on the icon for going to the CLI mode and follow the following commands first of all you will type here no we will configure or manually and now for going to the configuration mode global configuration mode you need to give the key name enable yeah. then go to the terminal with this command configure terminal and select the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so insert here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 0 by 0 means the first is slot number and the second one is port number 
then hit the enter key or return key and get the IP address here 192.168.10.1 and slash 24 means class C by default submit mask is 225.225.1 and hit enter and you can see the port level is down so you need to give this command for change the state of the port you can see here change state to up now first ethernet is up and you can see here green light is on means we are successfully changed our ethernet state now select the interface serial with exit command here and interface serial 0 by 0 by 0 and assign the IP here IP address 192.168.20.1 and the subnet mask and you can see a uh, uh, small block symbol you can see and this means this is the DTE portion of the router so you need to assign the here clock rate I will assign 128 and give this command for changing the state of the port now set down and simply is it from this mode and copy running config to start up config so we will configure another router with the same configuration with some different parameters okay so we will click here no enable configure terminal and select the interface which you want to work with and uh, I will go into select interface first ethernet Zero by zero, and give the IP address 192.168.30.1 and submit mask by default is 225.225.225.0 and by this command you already know that this will change the state of interface selected interface which we work yeah exit from here and now select the serial interface with this command interface serial and 0 by 0 by 0 and give the IP address 192.168.20.2 and we submit mask well, default and you need to define your IP address and after the assigning the IP address same change the port state with no shutdown command and exit here for saving your configuration into your memory running config to startup config this will save and this is the last stage when we assign the our protocol EIGRP now go to the enable global configuration mode and type here configure terminal and 
type here router eig rp and the autonomous system of the eig rp system uh, let us we are working in autonomous system 10 and here you will assign your connected network just like 192.168.10.0 and subnet mask to define your IP whether the classless or classful so if you are using classful IP address so you need uh, you don't need to include the subnet mask uh, or if you use the classless IP address so you need to define here and uh, some extra command like no auto summary for stopping the no auto summarization well go ahead and uh, include the second one which is 192.168.20.0 and include the subnet mask ok and uh, press the control z key for completely exit to the global contribution mode and uh, write here save into your memory with this command and same we will done this here configure terminal ok then router eigrp then the autonomous system and network 192.168.20.0 with subnet mask and you can see the new agency neighbor table is built up and dual interchange and uh, 5 second it will be taken to the routing updates and uh, we will include all the network which is connected to the router and we include the next one is network 192.168.30.0 and the subnet mask of this network and you can see that the new agency table is now connected with this your neighbor topology table and simply press the control z key and save into your running memory now at the end part you need to assign the IP address into the end devices so you need to go here and give the default IP address here which and after the you pressing the key the subnet mask will there will default to 55.0 then you do not need to edit here and just go to the down and give the default IP address is 10.1 which is the interface IP address of the router and exit here same as second end devices and give your IP address 10.3 tab then 10.1 then same here this network is 30 and the client IP address is 2 and leave the subnet mask as a default and give the default gateway 30.1 and same here but the IP will different 30.3 and 30.1 now we will check whether our network is running properly or not so we will going to the command prompt and type with ping At the first time the R is taken so request timeout then you will see that reply messages will appear 
After then you will get the success message with from ping or uh, you can use these messages with success. So BPDU or PPDU you can use for the successful message checking or error checking in this topology table.